Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Max. Thank you so much for stopping by. I super duper appreciate it. And today we have our October Ipsy bag, which is clearly in collaboration with Betty Boop, which I'm not mad about. This bag is super cute. And it's got like little sequins on the back, which aren't my fave, but I definitely like the, the face. Um, okay, so the theme I'm like, it's just gonna go with Betty Boop. This, it just says flaunt it and it's October 2019 and then you get a little card with your products on the inside. And I did choose three add-ons this month and first was the Betty Boop blush in All Dolled Up. And I love this little red silhouette of her and I really wish that they would have put that on the packaging because if you're just looking at this you cannot tell it's Betty Boop and I don't want to have to keep the box because I have enough crap in my life but this um is definitely like a I don't know like dollars or not dollar store a uh, drugstore packaging it's just plastic and this is what the blush looks like it for some reason every blush I've been trying lately gives me NARS orgasm vibes because I think every brand is really trying to get that peachy gold shimmer blush look because that's what I've been seeing a lot lately but I just wanted to have it for cute buddy boop purposes just to get it it was three dollars so I'm not too mad about it and sticking with Betty Boop stuff I got this eyeshadow blending brush and it just has a B with some hearts on it I kind of wish it would say Betty or Boop or something but it's actually a really nice blending brush I used it yesterday and it blended out my shadows like really nicely so not mad about it and then the last thing I added on I think is by the brand called Sue New York um, but it's just some really cute panda um, eye sheet masks that cover like this portion of your face so like this right here and it says brightening eye mask hydrates and soothes so I got it just to be cute for a fun face mask time okay so my actual bag I'm gonna pull out the thing that I'm very actually super impressed with and this is the Murad acne control clarifying cleanser look this is the biggest skin uh, skincare sample I have ever gotten especially like a face wash um great size and it's full like Normally we get these little tiny sizes about this big and then there will only be like this much product in it. So, and this is actually a high-end brand. So, very like, alright, that's really cool. Um, I used it last night uh, and I thought my skin felt nice, but obviously I haven't noticed a difference yet. I have to use it a few more times. So, we'll see how it goes, but definitely impressed by the sample in general. All right, the next thing is this, I don't know how the brand's pronounced. I'm gonna go with Bogachis, but this is a concealer brush. Sorry, my nose is running. Um, and I used it to prime my eyelids, which what went really nicely. I actually don't have a concealer brush. I've never used a brush for my concealer, but I definitely like it to prime the lids or have like a flat brush to pat something down. I think it's really nice. So for that purpose, not mad about it. And then we have <laughs> a loose eyeshadow, which I am disappointed by because I have done my little Ipsy reviews every month. And every time I get a loose eyeshadow, I'm like, heck no, I hate loose eyeshadows. 
The only reason that this is really cute to me is because it says Lenny, L-E-N-I on it, and that's exactly um, the spelling of my dog's nickname. Her name is Lennox, and we call her Lenny and spell it L-E-N-I. So I thought that was super cute because I've never seen anything with her name on it before. But even it being sealed, there is a bunch of product up in this packaging, which is like, I'm definitely not going to use it as an eyeshadow, but maybe, just maybe, it'll be a cute highlight. It's very like pinkish gold shimmer look and it even says on like the tips and tricks to use it wet if you want it opaque. I don't think you guys can see that but you can see it on my finger. Uh, use it wet if you want it opaque and use it dry if you want it like a sheer wash of color. I'm just, loose eyeshadows are not my thing. I hate when it gets all over my face and then I just can't get it off and it pops through my makeup all day. Just, it's pretty annoying. So, I nah, don't really like that one. Alright, two more things. This is, I when I first saw this, I thought it was from Pure Lease. It gives me Pure Lease vibes. But this is a deep cleansing face mask for all skin types by the brand Aphrodite. And it actually says Made in Greece on here, which I thought was pretty cool. Um... It's very fitting for the brand. But it says instant hydration with aloe vera and spirinula extracts. And it is sealed, so I'm not going to open it yet because I have a lot of face masks I have to go through. But I'm never mad about trying a new one. And hopefully it is good for all skin types as it says because I am very sensitive and dry. So hopefully it goes well with that. Alright, last thing is a Betty Boop product and this one as she says Betty Boop and Ipsy on it with a lipstick mark again really like cheap plastic kind of feel to it but it is in the shade mauve it baby <laughs> so it's just a mauve but it is a nice opaque cute color it does have like a vanilla smell to it or like a cupcake smell so that's nice but not mad to have it just for the collection purposes I think it's cute so there's that and that's all she wrote guys um super cute bag really happy about the size of this face wash and was it a too bad of a month Ipsy is changing quite a bit lately if you haven't noticed the glam bags, these, the regular ones, went up to $12, and the only things I've, like, seen them change in that price is they've been doing a lot of these collabs, and they're basically selling us their own product because they're by Ipsy as well, and then they're collabing with someone each month, and it's like... It's not by any means high end or fancy or anything like that. So I'm like, if you were going to raise it, I wish you would have like made it six products instead of five products or, you know, something just a little more worth that price, I guess. Like, I don't know, because I don't think we're going to like every collab that comes out every month. Like, yeah, Betty Boop is cute. They did a Tetris one, and I was like, okay, kind of weird makeup and game brand, but it is what it is. And I just, I don't know, I don't want to see them going in a bad direction, because I've loved Ipsy for so long now. And then they came out with um, the Ipsy Ultimate bag or box. I think it's called and it's like $50 a month and I'm like uh yeah no I'm still like on the fence about the glam bag plus that's $25 a month because I'm like 
every single month am I going to want to spend that? And then I watch people's unboxings and some months I'm like, oh man, I wish I would have had that. And then other months is like, I can definitely live without that. So I'm glad I didn't spend $25. And I like this little bag, you know, because normally I was spending 10 bucks to maybe discover something that I wanted to purchase in the long run or just have like lipsticks and eyeshadows. They last for a really long time or even like highlights and we've been getting a lot of like the full size Ofra stuff and that stuff's going to last a while. So I think you get a really good value for your price there. So I don't want them to lose that concept. So hopefully it will be okay. But I am rambling so I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.